I'm Don Keating here at the Ohio Weather Center, and just a brief update of our uh, line of thunderstorms, or heavy rain, that is now moving east-southeastward across the state of Ohio in advance of a cold front. We thought earlier that this might not develop because it didn't look like there was enough uh, instability in the atmosphere, but it turns out that there was, and this is a very long line, as you can see, all the way from New York State, up New, upstate New York, through western PA into eastern Ohio, all the way down to northern Kentucky, where it breaks up. And then a secondary line, along with this trough of low pressure system, is from eastern Kentucky all the way into central Tennessee, down east of Nashville, and into northern, uh, that would be Alabama. Now, put this into motion, you can see what this uh, line has done in the past two hours. We had a wind gust of 30 mile per hour here at Newcomerstown as the line moved its way through and we picked up a third of an inch of rain in 30 minutes so it gave the lawns a nice drink but unfortunately it's not enough to end our dry spell and our dry period uh, but it'll just it'll help for a tiny little bit yep indeed now you can see some showers lake showers actually developing uh, along with another trough which is right here uh, coming off of Lake Michigan possibly a little bit off of Lake Superior but it doesn't look like anything yet and a timid line running from northern, northern Indiana through southeast Michigan into southern Ontario, Canada. Now, a close-up look at the Buckeye State will show what this line is doing, where it's at, and where it's heading. And, of course, it's heading to the southeast at around 30 miles an hour. Take a look at the state with a normal view, and you can see where things are developing and where they're taking place. Actually, some severe thunderstorm warnings in effect for northwest Pennsylvania to western New York. Here are those showers that I suspect are lake effect showers off of southern Lake Michigan. And you can see from the wind gust readings that the winds aren't really coming down. You're getting a northerly fetch as this front moves through. Here's where the front actually is. Where these isobars are bent like this, that's where the leading edge of the cooler air is starting to move in. But you're getting a northerly fetch off of Lake uh, Michigan. Later in the evening, you'll get it off of additional lakes as that cool air moves its way into the region. Now, don't forget, you can, uh, oh yeah, let's take a look at one other thing here real quick. Let's take a look at your temperatures. Let's see what they've done. Here's a curious view. Let's see if this works out. Uh, let's go ahead and fill in the two meter temperature fill. This is actually what the radar, or actually what the satellite detects as far as the temperatures are concerned at the surface. And we'll have to let this go a couple of frames so it can get updated. You can see how the cooler air is flowing into the Buckeye State from the west, northwest to the east, southeast. Kind of interesting to see how that goes there. Let's uh, drop the radar view and you'll be able to see that a little better um, as it goes along. Okay, let's not drop it anyway. You can see the very definitive line here. And don't forget, folks, you can always make OhioWeather.com your location for checking the most recent reports as far as uh, weather is concerned across the area. And you can bookmark that with our weather webpage on Facebook. Check us out on Facebook under Ohio Weather. And as soon as that little icon there, the website goes away, you might be able to see it on there. But... Uh, yeah, you can go to Facebook and bookmark us. Until the next time, this is Don Keating.